ever wondered how I go from this to this? Well, it's a lot easier than you might think. So first, you're going to go to svgcreator.com. And then you're going to click drop your image here. And then you're going to choose your image you want to make a hype sheet. So I'm going to do this one right here. And then you can always adjust these if you need to. But I think it looks fine, so we're just going to download SVG. Then now we're going to go to teamchat.com. And then we're going to go create 3D design. And once that loads, you're going to change the snap grid to off and then bring this in. And then you're going to click import. Choose a file. It'll be this one right here, the top one. And this step's important. You're going to make sure you click art. Then you're going to make the biggest dimension for me. It's the width. It can be the length for you. We're going to make that one 170. Click enter and then import. And then once that loads in, you're going to zoom in on it. Make the quality as high as you can. And then make the height 0.37. I'm going to click Control c then Control v and then once it makes a copy of it, you're going to make the height 0.3, and make the fill mode a silhouette, and then again, Control c Control v And then now you're going to get the height point three, and then make the fill mode an outer line. And then you're going to make the line width 0.25. Click enter. And then zoom out, select all of the objects, and then you're going to click this button right here, which is the align button. And click this middle one, and then this one. Now, as you can see, it do it less some holes, so we're going to bring in a block. We're going to make them point 0.3 tall because that's where the holes are on the point 0.3 layer. So we're just going to stretch this out until it fills the holes. And we're going to select everything again and then group it. And once it's grouped, you're going to select it, click export as an STL. And you're going to just wait, and then you're going to I'm gonna put the link to this in the description. You're going to go to this Mimic World link, which created by me. And you're going to open in Boom Studio. And then, so once it opens, you're going to select the ring plate. Then you're going to click Add Object, and it should be this one right here. And then, so then we're going to get one of the rings. Get one of the rings, and then we're going to rotate it so that this part right here is facing up. And then we're going to, and then I do a little trick to get it perfect every time. So we're going to move the rings to the corner, right click the object, click center, and do that same thing to the ring that is facing up. So you're going to right click, click center. And with your arrow keys, you're going to click the up arrow until it comes up. Clean right here. You're going to add it just a little bit until it like just doesn't show. It's like that. And then you're going to bring the ring close to it. Then click hold on shift. And then select all of those. Then you're going to right click, click merge. Then this doesn't fit. We're going to rotate it. Like nine forty-five 45 degrees. And then now we're going to color it. So we're going to click, 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 click this color in option. And then the second level for me is going to be red. So I'm going to make the fill high, or height range and then make the height range max. I'm going to do it right below the letters. And then now. We think that looks good. So now we're going to make the inside of the letters black. For this time, we're going to use the fill tool and then click number three, which is a black, and fill in the letters. It's black. And then now you would just slice it.
And then I just print it. And that's how easy it is to print a 3D printed hype chain. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out. Jackson.